What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with a somewhat special opening. Not for a special occasion, but just as to the products that we're actually opening today. Um, we're opening up three Call of Legends blister packs, so that is pretty hype. Be sure to drop a like if you guys are keen to see what we will get out of uh, these packs today. Um, but yeah, I'm not really opening these for any particular reason. I'm kind of just opening these for the kind of the flashback. They are Heart Gold Soul, Soul Silver um, series like design cards. So I've been meaning to open some of these kind of like series for a long time now. And I'm so glad that I can share this with you guys today. So yeah, without further ado, let's check out these blister packs in all their glory. Because doesn't it just look sick? So we've got the... Uh, regular Groudon Call of Legends blister pack here. Not bad, not bad looking pack art. This is what the blister pack looks like. It's just like a nice plain kind of background. Feel free to pause and have a read of that if you guys would like, but it just says Joining of Powers, Battle of Forces, Call of Legends. So that's pretty epic. And then we've got the the Kyogre pack art here. Not a bad looking pack art as well. And then we've got the Deoxys pack art. So yeah, let's get these suckers out of their blister packs. And yeah, so there are like, um, you've got your shiny legends that can get pulled out of these. Um, there's a couple of evolution. there's like a Lucario that looks pretty nice. Um, and then the energies. The energies are one of the highlights of these blister packs because they just, uh, of this set more so, they just look so good. Like, especially the fighter energy. It's got like Ho-Oh chin um, chilling near the Acritique's Tin Tower, I believe. Uh, if we pull one, I'll definitely point it out. Or like, just the energy in general. And you guys will see, because they just look absolutely sick. But yeah, let's get this final pack out of the packaging here. And yeah. So there we go. There is the final pack out. Let's have one last shot at these boost packs here check that out so once again we got the deoxys there we got the kyogre and then we've got the groudon so that is epic let's go i think we'll go kyogre groudon and then deoxys and let's see what we can get today i'm not really hoping for anything too special i'm just really enjoying the flash back to the heart gold soul silver series by opening these packs but yeah, so let's go. Let's see if we can preserve these pack arts a little bit. There we go. So yeah, no codes. No codes for these ones, guys. Um, let's just open this first pack as is. And just see it in all its natural glory. So, let's knock this camera down just a little bit further. Check out this Cyndaquil. Doesn't it look so good? <laughs> Check it out. I love the art. I love how there's like all the, the kind of forest burning in the background and then you see just um, Cyndaquil really just like popping off on the um, artwork. But let's go. So we've got a Mistrevis. Not bad. I love these cards. I absolutely love it. Oh, uh, we got a Slowpoke chilling in the Slowpoke well. It's like the ladder. I guess that's like, I, I'm guessing that's like the ladder that leads into like Slowpoke well. We got Pidgey looking all epic, just chilling by itself. Cool, we got Totodile. Can we get Chikorita? Can we get Chikorita? Okay, so we got an interviewer's questions. So behind here should be the rare. So that's not bad. So that's our reverse. It's actually uh, slightly warped too. It's starting to get some, um, get its age. Oh god, 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 god. A Skarmory regular rare. So not bad. So we'll just throw that up the back there as a little highlight of the pack. But that's not bad. A Skarmory regular rare. <laughs> Two interviewers, questions, one pack. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got a Quillarpa with um, the attack Flare and Flamethrower. That's pretty cool. And then we got a Magby as well. So I believe it's still just your classic three from the back for the pack trait. That wasn't a bad first pack. We got a Skarmory regular rare and the interviewers question. So next up we got Groudon. So let's see if we can save this pack art once again. 
and I believe we can. These packs are opening really nicely. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, let's go three and two. And we've got a common relic hand. Like, check out this art for a common. That is awesome. Prehistoric wisdom and granite head. So we got another mischievous. We got a Fampy. Cure. Pidgey. Magic card. That's pretty epic. Pretty epic little magic card art. I can appreciate that. Professor Oak's new theory. Cool. Another interviewer's questions. That's crazy. We got like three of those already. Another Quillava. <laughs> Reverse Professor Oak's new theory. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's happened twice now. And the rare is... This is... A Tangrowth regular rare. So awesome. Nice looking art. I love these cards. They just look so good. But it's got 110 HP with the grind and plow over. Wow. They just look so good. They look so good. So let's throw those suckers just up the back there. And let's see if we can get some last pack magic. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't. It, but if we do, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Hopefully you can put like a um an energy so I can talk about those because they just look epic. They look so good. But awesome. So there we go. Three and two. And let's go. So we have whoops. We've got a Pinko. A Tangler to go with our Tangro. So let's put these side by side for a second. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty epic. The arts, um, they line up pretty well. I, I can really appreciate that. Then we've got a Murray. That's so cool. I love Murray. I love it. I love it. We got a Slowpoke. Snubble. Another Quillava. So I think we got a Quillava in every single pack. We got a Flareon. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A Riolu. Looking all epic. Doing the whole, like... Arms behind the back, anime side run. <laughs> and then we got a Tangrowth Reverse. What is the go with these, like, pulling doubles of things? It's crazy. It is crazy. But that is a Reverse Rare. And the final card from this, uh, not so quick Call of Legends opening is... A Hollow Hip on top. That is not bad. So we saved the best pack for last here. So we're pulling double rares. So let's throw the Tangrowth up the back there. And let's have a nice look at this hollow hit on top. As you guys can see there, it really kind of like, you got like this nice dotty hollow pattern with like, I don't know, like sparkles kind of going over it. But that, that looks epic. Such a Gen 2 flashback Pokemon. This is when hit, like, hit on top kind of got like introduced into the um, original games in Gen 2. But that's such an epic card. That is amazing. So it's got triple kick and close combat. That is amazing. That's crazy. So let's have a quick little uh, recap of everything that we kind of pulled from these three boost packs. Nothing, it wasn't like a huge opening or anything, but it was just such a nice flashback to see these cards. So we've got an interviewer's questions. Professor Oak's new theory reverse. We got a reverse rare Tangrowth. And our regular rares, we got a Skarmory. We got a Tangrowth. And then in that last pack, we managed to get a hollow hit on top. So that's pretty crazy. If you guys enjoyed it, today's flashback to the Call of Legends series, be sure to drop a like down below. Muchly appreciate it. Helps helps support the uh, support the channel and in all its glory. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like down below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.